Hey folks, we're going to be doing a little bit of post analysis here on the impacts technologically from the recent geomagnetic storm earlier in the week that hit level four unexpectedly, if we might add. We went over in the morning show not only the solar eruptions, the solar wind telemetry, the magnitude of the geomagnetic storm, the unexpected level that it reached given the solar wind telemetry, the unexpected spread of the auroras, and some of the bigger stories in terms of the uptick in electrical fires. Here a couple days later, the reports keep rolling in. We not only had an uptick in electrical fires, but we had an uptick in electrical explosions. Um, this is something that we keep track of even during space weather quiet times. Otherwise, there's no way to really know whether or not you have an uptick during these uh, geomagnetic storms. But in terms of electrical fires, and the electrical explosions, it was 8x and 5x normal um, that you would get in a week. And it's only been about two and a half, three days since that geomagnetic storm really kicked up. In addition to the electrical fires and electrical explosions, an unexpected level of geomagnetic storm and the unexpected spread of the auroral oval all the way down to mid latitudes, we had the Swedish nuclear reactors go offline due to electrical uh, voltage anomalies in the grid. Again, exactly the kind of thing that you're going to be looking for in terms of these technological impacts from these major solar storms. Again, looking back to the solar eruption, M-class solar flare. Solar wind telemetry, it was moderate to strong maybe, but it wasn't very strong and it certainly wasn't severe as was the case with the geomagnetic storm it produced. And so as we've said the last couple of days, this is really indicative of Earth's vulnerability uh, as Earth's magnetic field is weakening in the ongoing magnetic pole shift. And solar maximum is just getting started here. We still have at least a year, probably two years left of sunspot maximum. So eyes on all this, and I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.